My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 46 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the preparation of chlorine gas and the preparation of nitrogen gas. Ladies and gentlemen, chlorine and nitrogen gas can both be prepared in the laboratory and in the industry. To prepare chlorine gas in the lab, we can get it from manganese 4 oxide and potassium tetraozomanganate 7 or potassium permanganate. When manganese 4 oxide reacts with HCl, one of the products is chlorine gas. And when KMNO4 potassium permanganate reacts with HCl, one of the products is also chlorine gas. Anytime you see MNO2 or KMNO4 reacting with HCl, just know that one of the products will be chlorine gas. And in the industry, we prepare chlorine gas using or making use of the electrolysis of brine and electrolysis of brine using the hookah set. Remember, brine is conch sodium chloride. And concentrated sodium chloride means we have so much sodium chloride and a little water. If you have something like this, we know that the ions present in brine are sodium ion, chlorine ion, and from water, of course, hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion. Sodium ion and hydrogen ion will migrate to the cathode. Chlorine ion and hydroxyl ion will migrate to the anode. Then, preferential discharge comes into consideration. Whenever more than one ion migrates into an electrode, preferential discharge will come to play. Sodium and hydrogen are far apart in the series, which means concentration will not play a role for the positive ions. Therefore, the one that is lower in the series will be preferentially discharged, which is hydrogen. But for chlorine ion and hydroxy ion, concentration will play a role because they are closer in the series. The one that is more concentrated will be discharged preferentially if the distance between them is very, very close. In this case, hydroxy ion is lower than chlorine ion in the series. But because we are dealing with concentrated sodium chloride, and the distance between chlorine ion and hydroxy ion in the series is not very far, concentration will play a role, and this guy will be preferentially discharged. So, electrolysis of brine using hookah cell will give us chlorine gas. Remember, cryo, in the cathode, reduction takes place, and in the anode, oxidation takes place. And what is oxidation? Loss of electron. What is reduction? Gain of electron. To prepare nitrogen gas, one, we use in situ ammonium diazonitrate. For the first uh, reaction is formation of ammonium diazonitrate. When you react NaNO2 with ammonium chloride, you will form ammonium diazonitrate. And when this guy splits, it will form nitrogen gas and water. So in the lab, we prepare nitrogen gas from in situ ammonium diazonitrate. Then in the industry, we prepare nitrogen gas using fractional distillation of liquefied air. 
I already explained the Ifa head in the previous episode under the preparation of oxygen, which implies that oxygen and nitrogen can both be prepared in the industry via fractional distillation of liquefied air. Another product of that fractional distillation of liquefied, liquefied air is CO2, even water vapor. All these are the products. Ladies and gentlemen, preparation of chlorine gas and nitrogen gas. I hope you found this interesting. And I like, it, like I keep saying, install the Flash Lenders Jam app now. Use the YouTube description or visit flashlenders.com for previous version or open your Play Store, search Flash Lenders Jam. Install and begin to play with questions under all these topics. You will never, never regret. To whom much is given, should not run away with it. If you run away with it, we will beat you. And if you have personal challenges or issues concerning your exam, psychological issues, break fast issues you need to share, feel free to let me know. I'll be more than willing to guide you. See ya in the next episode.